hotly contested race to become Baltimore City State's attorney is getting even hotter tonight. Yeah, tonight videos from three years ago of Thuru Virjaraja with an undercover journalist are now being brought up again. And WMAR 2 News, Eddie Kingdom is live tonight in front of City Hall. Eddie, what do people need to know about this video that came out? Jamie and Kelly, people need to know that these videos are from 2015 and they are put on by a, a group called Project Veritas. Now they use undercover journalists to target political figures. Here's what the two candidates had to say about them being talked about again today. It's election season, and that means skeletons can come out of closets. You barely drink your drink. Hey, well, I can't help it that you're so interested. I'd be more interested if you were 50. This video from 2015 was shot by an organization called Project Veritas. An undercover member of their team is seen meeting with and talking to then Deputy Attorney General Thuru Vignaraja. The woman in the video mentions feeling uncomfortable several times. Show us your judgment. Ivan Bates is one of the candidates running against Vignaraja for state's attorney. The video totally shows a lack of judgment because Project Veritas was there to get, I guess, whomever. He just happened to be the individual that fell for it. So at that moment in time, he's in the hotel room. As he's in the hotel room, he begins to tell this young lady secrets that the citizens of Maryland have asked him to keep to himself. Vignaraja says he's disappointed that this is what the campaign has turned, turned to. to. Away from substance and solutions, which is what I think voters want to hear about and what my campaign is focused on. But he agreed to address the video. We've got a widely discredited right-wing attack group that's gone after groups like Planned Parenthood that put out this heavily doctored video that had no merit to it. There's literally no truth to what they put out there. The Attorney General's office confirmed that. And you've got a campaign that's bankrolled by the bail bond industry and by right-wing attack groups that is skipping debates, that that is struggling to compete on ideas, so they resort to this kind of politics of personal destruction. Vignaraja is a son of two retired city school teachers. He says he's dedicated his life to public service as a federal prosecutor, a city prosecutor, and a deputy attorney general. Um, we have the worst crisis of crime Baltimore has ever seen. And the idea that other candidates are talking about this kind of nonsense just shows how much and uh, they don't realize the struggles that Baltimore is facing. And Bates, the husband of a school psychologist and father of two, and a former prosecutor and defense attorney. One of the things you just don't want to see is that late night comedian playing that video, laughing at Baltimore, saying they elected this person and they don't even know the job. Now, I talk with a spokesperson for the current state's attorney, Marilyn Mosby, uh, about these videos, and they say that they have no comment. They're going to continue to focus on the campaign at this point. Live in downtown Baltimore, Eddie Catum, WMAR 2 News.